Hey there, gang. I want to talk this week to the mamas and the papas that are growing their network marketing business alongside life. This could be alongside another job. It could be alongside homeschooling your kids. It could be alongside being a full-time stay-at-home mom or dad. It could be taking care of your aging parents. There's not just one thing that we're doing in this world, the way that the world is, the way that our lives is, the way that society is. We're doing other things while growing our businesses. And I had this aha moment working with a client inside of my paid community beyond the rank the other day. And it just, all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do a podcast on this. It was one of my executive clients and my executive clients get my private business executive cell phone number so they can text me and my team of coaches. So we can help you with screenshots. We can help you with posts, with what to say, how to handle sticky situations. This is in addition, this is like further access to support uh, in addition to the live calls that you get when you join the community uh, at like our basic level of membership. So this is just like an up level on that. Anyway, I was, I was doing her private one-to-one -one strategy session where we do a Zoom together and we were talking about how do you decide what to focus on in your business and what things are prioritized as family versus work. And this is something that I think most entrepreneurs struggle with, no matter if you're in network marketing or not, especially the working moms. And I understand that we have, you know, dads here that are working dads and maybe maybe single dads. And, and I understand that, but there is a second layer of double standard with women in society because when dads work full-time, Nobody says things to them like, I just don't know how you do it. Don't know how you work and take care of your kids. Like nobody says that to men. They only say that to women or they'll make comments to females. Like, um, you know, I, I just, I, I could, I could never work. I just had to be home with my babies. You know, I worry about your kids. I mean, these are things that people have said to me over the years, both friends, family, uh, strangers, where there's that, there's that like underlying judgment of people thinking that if you're working and you're a mom, that you're doing something risky. People don't ever think that about dads when they go to work and have kids, right? They're revered as like heroes and they totally are not all heroes wear capes. We love you, our men. <laughs> uh, but there, there's this double standard. I just want to recognize it. Uh, so that, so that, you know, that it's normal to feel this way and that it's a society thing. It really truly is. And so one of the things that I get from, especially my like high income top earners and the biggest thing that they come to me and ask me about is, Emily, how do I balance it, right? They've hit the top of their network marketing company. They're dealing with healing their nervous system. They work with me uh, at the executive plus level. So the executive line, that's where you get to come and you get my business line to me and my coaches, private texting and text support in between all the live calls. Uh, you get the one strategy session for the whole year, but my executive plus clients, these are my clients that are high, high performers. They're at the top of their network marketing company. Most of them are the top team in their network marketing company. They're working on healing their nervous system because maybe they're burned out or uh, they've had they've had stress with their upline, their downline or, or something of that nature. All very normal things in the network marketing space when you're playing at that level. And the, the biggest thing they always tell me is, Emily, how do I know how to balance my time? Because I feel like I want to prioritize my family, my kids, my husband, my personal time, my, my own exercise, my own, you know, my own health but I also feel like I want to work. And so they say to me, like, I struggle to know when I should relax with my family and have movie night and when I should be in the other room working, or they are with their family for movie night and they're working on their phones and they feel like they can't relax enough to put the phone down and enjoy the moment. And so I want to share with you the question that I ask myself, those of you that are watching the podcast on the YouTube channel, you just saw my dog Cosette. She jumped up on the, <laughs> on the chair behind me. And so she's going to be joining us today. Oh, she's gone now. She heard us talking about her and she's offended and she's leaving. Anyway, I'm going to give you the question that I ask myself to guide me 
on if my current actions are in line with my goals, because what most, what, what this, I see most top performers do this. And what they say to themselves is, uh, they'll, they'll say to themselves like, um, what would a good mom do in this moment? What would a good team leader do in this moment? What would a good network marketer do in this moment? That's the question that they're asking themselves. And they're asking the wrong question. This is what I teach them. Oh, and by the way, that Executive Plus membership, those are for my top performers. Those people get every single month a private one-to-one -one Zoom with me. They get full Marco Polo access, unlimited. That if you don't know what Marco Polo is, um, it's like a it's like a FaceTime app where you send video uh, videos of each other back and forth. So you're talking face to face through video messenger, and then they get my texting line and full executive member but but executive member benefits inside of Beyond the Rank, which includes our two day live event that's happening August first and second. You do not want to miss it. It's an event with hundreds of network marketers. It is a generic network marketing event. So it's something for any company. We have over 20 different network marketing companies that are represented at our events now and growing every single day. Uh, just in the last three weeks, our community has grown by another 210 members. So uh, we have served thousands and thousands of members in the last two and a half years. And I'm just so grateful to be here serving you as your coach. So just wanted to, to let you know sort of like uh, how, how that all works because we don't really have like all these things on the website uh, because it's not for everyone. The Executive Plus membership is not for everyone. It's for someone that really wants that extra coaching, that private coaching, that extra access to me uh, with, with some of those benefits. And then we even have VIP packages that include all of that with two in-person days with me where once every six months, you come to Utah and we work on your business, private one-on-one, -on -one, you and me in person for like 12 whole hours. And we, you know, we go do fun things together. We, uh, we work on your business. We make a strategic plan. We map everything out. I have all these systems and things that we fill out to get really clear. And then also we work on your, on your physical health and your mental health and your nervous system health as well. And we just go do fun things together that I love to do here in Utah. So it's just like a day where we get to connect and spend more time together. And I just, I'm obsessed with that offer. And it is, it is luxury coaching. It's not on the website, but it is, is, and it's not for everyone, but it's for, it's for the one of one, right? It's for those of you that really just want that luxury experience where, uh, where I can just pour into you, uh, private. So, okay. Um, so the questions that you're normally asking yourself are, what would a good mom do in this moment? What would a good wife do in this moment? What would a good upline do in this moment? Or you are making decisions based off of fear, where you are saying to yourself, if I don't answer these messages, my team might not work. If I don't answer these messages, my team might leave for another company, right? There's so much fear-based things going on uh, in the network marketing space and the culture, and I am out on a mission to change that. Uh, in fact, I even, I have like a book, I'm, I'm writing a book that's gonna be out in January of 2025, and then I'm writing another book in 2025 that will likely come out toward the end of 2025 and the beginning of 2026. And um, it's going to be all, I mean, it's just going to like, mm, the first one is more of like skill sets, like how to do network marketing, which I'm so excited about because I've spent the last decade figuring out all the systems that actually work. And then I've tested them in over 20 different network marketing companies. And then the other one is more like a heart project that God placed on my heart. And he's like, you got to write about this topic and how to help people stop acting out of this fear. So anyway, I'm so excited to bring all those to you. So just make sure that you are uh, that you are plugged in and watching for those things. Don't worry. You'll have to be literally under a rock to not hear about it when we launch them. So I have no fear. Your girl is going to show up and post it everywhere once it's out. So um, so this, this fear-based culture that we have inside of the network marketing space is constantly where we are making decisions from. And that just messes with your result. And so I want to get you out of that. And so I'm going to give you the question that I ask myself when it comes to balancing work and family life, work and personal life, work and marriage, right? Because I look at family life and marriage as two separate entities. 
There's my relationship with God. There's my relationship with myself. There's my relationship with my spouse. There's my relationship with my kids and my immediate family, right? Those, and, and then there's, then there's like extended family. Those are my five key relationships. And if those, and, and in that order, right? God, self, spouse, family, extended family, and friends. If those relationships are off, I'm a mess. And when we're making, when we're asking ourselves questions, what would a, what would a, what would a good Christian do in this moment? What would a good, um, what would, what would a female entrepreneur do in this moment? What would, what would someone that had self-worth for themselves do in this moment? What would a good wife do here? What would a good mom do here? Would a bad mom make this decision? What would a good friend do? What would a good upline do? What would a good, what would a good leader do? You're asking the wrong question because the answer is going to be you passing judgment on yourself. And that's why you get it wrong every single time. And that's why you're working more than you want to. You're working out of integrity with your goals and you're all over the place like a chicken with your head cut off. So here's the question that I gave to my very high income, like she's at the top of her network marketing company and her team is producing the most high level leaders in her company right now. She's a leader that's creating leaders. They're the fastest growing team in her network marketing space. So, and it happens to be the company that I built my career in. So, um, so this is the question that I posed to her, okay? What's the biggest impact in line with my goals right now? Let me give you an example of this, right? I want you to write that question down because this is the question that needs to go on a sticky note, needs to go on the notes on your phone. You need to put it everywhere, okay? What's the biggest impact in line with my goals right now, okay? So here's an example. It's Friday evening and it's the beginning of the month. You ha are having a slump in the summer. Your kids are watching a movie. Your husband is on his iPad in your bedroom watching, I don't know, Biggest Catch or Greatest Catch or MMA or whatever husbands do when they watch shows. Your teenagers are downstairs playing video games. They've got some friends over. You got more teenagers outside hanging out with their friends. And you, you could make the fight for, it's a Friday night, I should go watch a show with my husband or I should go sit with my kids and um, and spend time with them and watch a movie on Friday night. And you can totally do those things. But what I have found is that there are pockets where there's just this like mm, glimmer of a window where nobody knows you're gone. And for me, these windows typically happen on like Wednesday nights, Friday night, sometimes Sunday afternoons. And this glimmer, this pocket, I remember feeling it when I had little babies at home. And it's when I would go take a shower. It's when I would clean the bathroom. It's when I would do some dishes or pay some bills or throw another load of laundry in, maybe, maybe put some laundry away. And it's just this, this little pocket that occurs, this magic moment where mom doesn't exist and nobody even knows she's gone. And this is not to negate, don't, don't hear me say, don't hear me say that, that it's, that, that watching, having a movie night and being present with your family is lost, that it's lost on me. It is not. Okay. What I'm talking about is when you're in the regular grind and your family is totally entertained and nobody even realizes that you're here and you could go and you could sit on the couch and you could watch Netflix. And on a Friday night, you would have every reason in the world to do it, right? But instead, you take your computer and you sit on the couch. And for an hour or two, you go through your back office and you drum stuff up. You do little fires everywhere. If you don't know what that is, you need to you need to come check out my free master class call. You can register for those. They're every Tuesday and Thursday. It's a free master class where I answer your questions and, and tell you if Beyond the Rank is a great fit for you. Little fires everywhere is a method that I use to create money out of nothing 
uh, from people that are already ordering from you in your back office. And so maybe you go and may maybe, maybe you don't, maybe you don't even, maybe you don't even have a team yet. Right. So maybe you're not doing little fires ever. Maybe you're not like getting customers to post and turn into business builders because that's what little fires everywhere does. If you don't know this system, uh, our, our customers report, our clients report that they get new business builders within 72 hours of doing this method that I teach inside of beyond the rank. And it's super, super simple. You literally, uh, anyway, it, you, it, it, it's not, it's like a full workshop, right? So come in, join beyond the rank. You can come check it out. The free class Tuesdays and Thursdays, the sign up link is in the show notes here, or you can go to beyond the rank and co, which is my Instagram account, uh, where I occasionally post, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, um, and you can, you can get the link there and I'll see you on the masterclass. So, um, maybe, maybe something else that you're doing. And I, I need to do a, um, I need to do a podcast on this. I have notes, uh, on my, on my, on my desk here about giving you my step-by-step -step system for how to have a protect, a productive power hour authentically so that it energizes you rather than exhausts you. So that podcast episode is going to be coming soon, but uh, let's say, let's say everyone's entertained in your house. And all of a sudden you're like, I could, I could go do this and no one would even know I was gone. Those are the pockets that we want to ask ourselves the question, not, not what can you do for your country, but what can your country do for you? Not that, right. It's like, it's like, not what would a good wife do here? What would a good mom do here? What would a good uh, Christian woman do here? What would a good upline do here? No, it's what's the biggest impact that I can make in this moment that's in line with my goals? That's the right question, right? So, so that when you see your kids watching a movie on a Friday night and they, they don't, they don't need you, they don't want you you've already had some bonding time or maybe you haven't, right? Your husband, he's doing his own thing. Your kids are doing their own thing. Nobody even knows that you are missing right now, right? It's in that moment where you go, do I watch Netflix and get caught up on the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleader Netflix series or whatever is currently hot when you listen to this episode, right? Or do I go spend an hour sending messages and getting new people, new customers joining my team and turning them into a duplication machine where I'm getting business builders that make money for me while I sleep, right? And so this is why this question is so important. What's the biggest impact that I can make right now in line with my goals, right? And so and this can even happen on like a, a Sunday afternoon, right? Sunday afternoon, maybe um, you, you don't typically work on Sundays. You see your husband, you know, relaxing. The kids are relaxing. Everyone's doing their own thing and no one would even notice that you're gone, right? It's in that moment where we ask ourselves, what's the biggest impact in line with my goals right now, right? If my goal is to grow my business and I could go and I could um, get get something, like get some messages sent out or organize a team training that would make it easier for me to implement the next day. If I could write an email nurture sequence that I could schedule that could start going out on Monday so that I could make money while I was doing fun things with my kids like boating or going to a movie or whatever, right? It's like, how could I get ahead in this moment and achieve my goals instead of do what I think I should do in that minute, right? So this, this is the big key here. And hopefully this is like putting off some light bulb moments for you because uh, Alex Hormozy, he, he, I'm a, I love him. I've been watching him for years and I actually learned how to close high ticket sales from his YouTube videos. That, I mean, I learned more from him about how to close high ticket sales than, than anything else I've ever done. And so, uh, and then of course, like, growing a network marketing downline of 20,000 also taught me how to be really good at sales, but Alex Hormozy stuff taught me how to do high ticket sales. And so I just, he's the goat. I, I'm obsessed with his stuff. I love everything he puts out on Instagram and YouTube and everywhere. And he put out a reel recently where he talks about what it looks like to grow one company while you're doing something else. And it, it basically, it was like, all the stuff from nine to five was in an orange block. And it was like uh, filling your present, like fulfilling your present life. 
And then there were, then there was green on the calendar this Monday through Saturday, Monday through Sunday calendar, right? The orange was just Monday through Friday from nine to five. And then the green was all the hours from like 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., right? And then it was like 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., Monday through Friday. And then on the weekends, it was all day Saturday green, all day Sunday green. And it said, fulfilling your future life. And I was like, that is it. That is how I've grown every single company to seven figures, the four different times I've done it. And it it's truly about putting in the time in those pockets where everyone else is relaxing, kicking back and resting. And, and this does not mean that you don't ever rest because I am a huge advocate for resting and recharging, but also no one is coming to save you, but you, you know that, right? No one's coming to save you, but you. So if you want to make a change in your business, you have to be the one to put in the time to put in the reps to get the result that you want. And so sending those cold messages on a Friday night, just pumping it out with the thumbs, right? In an authentic way, I'll teach you about it soon. Organizing the email sequence, watching a training video on how to get people to post before their products come, and then starting practicing those things that you're learning, right? You learn something, you instantly start practicing it and implementing it. That's the only way watching training videos work, by the way. If you listen to my podcast and you're not implementing one thing from every single thing you learn, you could be making so much more money. <laughs> you could be making such a bigger impact. You could have such a bigger downline. Okay, so so when you are faced with these moments and you hear yourself asking these questions of what would a good mom do in this moment? Would a good mom go in and sit with their kids and and you know cuddle their kids? And this is what a good mom does. Do that for 20 minutes. Do it for 30 minutes. Enjoy those moments. They are so cherished and you can't get them back, right? We don't have to be so black and white, right? We can, we can do a little bit of both and then go in the other room and pound out those messages. Learn that new skill, practice it, put it into movement and move your business along when everyone else is relaxing and giving the giving themselves the excuse that they've earned it. All right, you guys, if you love what you're hearing on the podcast, share this episode with someone that you think it would make a big impact with. And I would love to see you on our free Tuesday, Thursday master classes. You can get registered, the link in the show notes, or you can go over to Beyond the Rank and Co on Instagram and click the link in the bio there. And I hope I get to see you on those free master classes. Have an amazing week, you guys. Bye now.